What is going on everybody? So I realize I have not made a video in quite a while and I am very sorry about that But I have quite a lot to show you right now Um, so I made a video about I don't know probably four or five months ago of my Mustang Which I thought was the timing chain knocking or just rattling around well I actually found out that it is not the timing chain and I've been working on tearing down the Mustang and Getting everything just situated and it's taken a lot of time But I am finally here to make a video about it and guys, whenever I say I've done a lot of work in this time, I have done a lot of work in this time. So here we have the Mustang, just in my little shop in here. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all everything that I've done so far. So, we have the engine pulled currently. No trans, no engine. I actually have the engine on the engine stand, completely tore apart, except for the crankshaft and the flywheel, which is about to come out. Um, hood right there. We got the main bearings, all the top engine accessories. We have the oil pan, timing components. We got my pistons and rods, and my heads right there. Now, it took me disassembling the entire engine to actually figure out what the issue was. And it kind of confused me at first, but then it kind of all made sense. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I thought maybe the timing chain jumped a tooth or the guides weren't. Uh, doing what they were supposed to and they were eating up or I, I really didn't know what it was I, I thought it may be even a stuck valve but all the timing components are in good order and it was actually my rods and pistons that were the problem so as you can see look at these rods they all look okay and then you got this booger yeah that is bent <laughs> I had a bent rod that was making that noise and it really confused me at first but then it kind of made sense because i also had a blown head gasket so apparently what happened was the head gasket on my car was blown and it was allowing water to get into the cylinder and eventually the water did not compress and it just bent that rod which is crazy i i, I always knew that the rods were the weakest part of these engines but i didn't think that how well it was running it just made a lot of noise it, it ran good but it just made that ticking noise and it had a bent rod and it's kind of it just astounds me now guys in case you were wondering what the top of the pistons look like on a mustang gt with 138,000 miles on the clock this might give you a little idea i'm going to show you all the pistons in order this is the uh piston with the bent rod and as you can see it's quite dirty on top of carbon Here's the other one. And then this one. As you can see, they are pretty caked up. I'm surprised I didn't find any dings or anything in the top of the pistons. They're actually not too terrible. They just have a lot of crap on top. That one has a weird, uh, weird clean spot on it. This one isn't too, too bad, I guess. And then you got the last one. All in all, they're not terrible, but you know, they could definitely be cleaner. All right, so guys, to fix my engine, I'm gonna need a bunch of new parts. Uh, so first off, I gotta get a new crankshaft because as you can see right here, it's scrapped, destroyed, gone. So new crankshaft with new main bearings. I'm getting stage four cams. Uh, all new timing components, all new rods, all new pistons. Uh, I'm going with flat tops this time. The heads are going to go off to the machine shop as far as, as long, along with the block. Uh, it's going to get honed. They're going to get all their treatment, you know, valve guides and seals and the valves lapped and everything good and whatnot. Uh, I got to get a oil pan gasket, <clears throat> uh, new intake manifold, new valve covers just because I want them, I want them to be shiny. I'm going to get a new alternator while I'm at it. Uh, all new underdrive pulleys, all new pulleys in fact because they squeal. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, and some new shorty headers. And I believe that's it for the engine. As once I get the parts for all of this, I am going to be making videos step by step. I should have been making videos tearing this thing apart, but it was just so fast and I was just like so excited just to figure out what the problem was that I didn't even like feel like videoing. I just wanted to tear it down and finally figure out after three or four months what was making that noise and what was wrong with my engine. 
So I am going to be videoing every step of the way of this engine rebuild. Um, I will probably just start with, you know, the bare block after I get it back from the machine shop. And we'll just start from there. So guys, if you are excited as I am to finally see this thing running again in the next month or so, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you keep up to date with every video that I'm going to be releasing on this thing. It's going to be extremely cool to finally see it back running and those stage four cams, whew, I just cannot wait for that. So anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today. Peace out.